Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a moment. You should then be able to calculate the size of a moment and all of this is for triple physics students only. Try this experiment. You need an open door and you're going to close it with your little finger. Push with your little finger by the handle and the door should close easily. Now try closing the door again but this time place your finger much closer to the hinge. You'll find that it's much more difficult. Now we often use forces to cause an object to rotate like this and the turning effect of a force is called the moment of the force. I'm showing some examples here. We've got a wheelbarrow, a man using a crowbar, a seesaw, a crane and a hammer being used to remove a nail. All of these are examples of moments and we calculate the moment of a force using this equation. The moment in newton meters equals the force in newtons multiplied by the distance in meters. And you're not given this equation in the exam, so you do need to learn it. Now, there are a couple of important points about this equation. Firstly, you need to learn the unit for moment. It's capital N followed by lowercase m. Anything else is wrong and you won't get the mark in the exam. Also, remember that it's Newton meter, not Newtons per meter. So don't make that mistake. Secondly, when calculating a moment, the distance has to be perpendicular from the line of action of the force to the pivot. Now that sounds complicated, but it's not as tricky as it looks, and I'll show you what that means in a minute. So let's start by calculating a simple moment. This shows a spanner being used to loosen a nut. The turning effect of the force is centered around the pivot, which is the center of the nut. We're applying a force of 50 newtons to the end of the spanner. The distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot is 0.3 meters. To calculate the moment, in other words the turning effect of the force, we need to multiply the force by the distance. So we've got 50 newtons multiplied by 0.3 meters, giving us a moment of 15 newton meters. Coming up, we're going to look at perpendicular distance and I'm going to give you some questions to try yourself. Okay, now as we said before, when we calculate moments, the distance must be perpendicular from the line of action of the force to the pivot. In this case, you can see that the line of action of the force is perpendicular to the pivot. In other words, it's 90 degrees. However, in this case, the spanner is now at an angle to the pivot. The distance from the pivot to the force is still 0.3 meters, but now we cannot use this distance to calculate the moment. Remember to calculate moment, we've got to use the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the pivot. In other words, this distance. Now, I need to make it clear that you do not need to worry about this at all. In your exam, the distance that you have to use will be made very clear. So please do not get bogged down by the idea of perpendicular distance. Here's a moment's question for you to try. A person is lifting a wheelbarrow with a force of 75 newtons. The perpendicular distance from the pivot to the line of action of the force is 1.2 meters. Calculate the moment produced by the force. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, here's the equation for moment. Moment in newton meters equals force in newtons multiplied by distance in meters. We've got a force of 75 newtons and a distance of 1.2 meters. Multiplying these together gives us a moment of 90 newton meters. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on moments in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Thank you.